Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! An activist who supports Brexit has pleaded guilty to causing alarm and distress by using threatening or abusive language to the MP Anna Soubry outside the Houses of Parliament. 29-year-old James Goddard was accused of shouting abuse at the MP for Broxtow, who supports another referendum in two incidents last December and January. He also admitted to a racially aggravated public order offence against a police officer. A protester has admitted calling the former Conservative MP Anna Soubry a Nazi outside the Houses of Parliament. James Goddard was filmed with other protesters confronting the Remain supporting MP in January. A court heard that she was very shaken by what happened and found the comments directed at her deeply offensive. Martha Fairley has more. MPs were just back from the Christmas break, emotions over Brexit running high, and Anna Soubry, then a Tory MP and a leading Remainer, had become a target for pro-Brexit activists outside Parliament. I do object to being called a Nazi, actually. Right. Um, well, apologies Sorry, to you if you're I, offended by I, what I, you're listening I, I, to. James Goddard, wearing a yellow high-vis vest, was in the crowd calling Anna Soubry a Nazi and filming himself hurling abuse at her as they surrounded her on her way into the Palace of Westminster. Scum! 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 At Westminster Magistrates Court this afternoon, Goddard from Greater Manchester admitted a charge of intent to cause harassment, alarm or distress, along with co-defendant Brian Phillips. Goddard's delight at being told he won't receive an immediate custodial sentence apparent as he left court. Every single one of you are a disgrace to this country. You finished. Legacy media is finished. And you didn't get to put me in prison, did you? Reacting to the guilty pleas, Anna Soubry said, in a democracy, people have a right to peaceful, lawful protest. No one has the right to intimidate and abuse anyone in the way I was by the defendants. But Goddard and his supporters have made it clear they'll keep up their campaign and make their opinions heard. Martha Fairley, ITV News, Westminster Magistrates Court. Now, a protester who filmed himself hurling abuse at the former Conservative MP Anna Soubry has admitted insulting her by calling her a Nazi. 30-year-old James Goddard admitted a charge of intent to cause Ms Soubry harassment, alarm or distress, along with fellow defendant Brian Phillips. In a victim impact statement, Ms Soubry said she had been very intimidated and shaken by what happened. Simeon Brown was in court. In the center of this trio is James Goddard, without his high-vis jacket. Goddard, who styled himself as a UK yellow vest activist, appeared at Westminster Magistrates Court alongside this man, Brian Phillips. Today, both Brexit campaigners pled guilty to harassing the Remain supporting MP, Anna Soubry. The court was shown this video of the offence, captured by Mr Goddard himself. You are a traitor. You are a traitor to this country. You are on the side of Adolf Hitler. The footage shows the MP seen here, walking through Westminster. She's surrounded. The loudest voice you can hear is Mr Goddard's. He's wearing the red cap. Come on, Sobre. The court was shown several videos like this, showing Mr Goddard and his company following Anna Soubry across these grounds. The men even interrupted several of her media appearances. Right. Um, well, apologies Sorry, to... Nazi, they shouted. All of these clips were shown in court, who watched Anna Soubry followed again as she returned to Parliament. The court heard that the MP was left shaken, that she felt intimidated, but did not want to show it on camera. In court, whilst Mr Phillips barely spoke, Mr Goddard was vocal. Fake news! On court too, Mr Goddard made a series of interventions. He even accused the judge of being related to an MP who voted against the no-deal Brexit. And when the court heard about the impact of the event on Anna Soubry, Mr Goddard said that over the last six months, he had suffered. In response to both guilty pleas, Anna Soubry said, I am pleased that both defendants have pleaded guilty and accepted that their behaviour on two occasions outside Parliament was wrong and unjustified. In a democracy, people have a right to peaceful, lawful protest. No one has the right to intimidate and abuse anyone in the way that I was by the defendants. But in and outside of court, supporters cheered Mr Goddard and goaded the press. 
Whilst Mr. Phillips made a low-key exit, Mr. Goddard made a speech. Mr. Goddard also said he'd been wrongly portrayed as once part of the EDL, but added not that there's anything wrong with the far right group. Both men left court on bail. They'll be sentenced on Monday.